Hey y'all, I'm gonna try to do a quick video today to make some crab dip for the Super Bowl. And yes, I'm not showing my face today because I don't feel like it. <laughs> but um, we're gonna start. This is gonna be a simple crab dip, so we're in a an affordable one, more affordable one. So I am using canned lump crab meat, which yes, you can find because some people don't know that. And this is just what I had. I already opened my cans. I have one that's bumblebee. Well, two of them are bumblebee. And the other one is chicken of the sea. But make sure you get the lump crab meat. So I'm using three cans of that. Each can is uh, six ounces. So 18 ounces all together for that. We're gonna use some room temperature cream cheese. I'm gonna use some granulated garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay, of course, a little bit of nutmeg, and some salt, a little bit of salt. I may use this, I saw a recipe that had this, and you can also add hot sauce if you like, but I have a crab pie recipe, so I'm kinda going with those same ingredients oh and i forgot one ingredient cheddar cheese cheddar cheese now sorry about that i don't have any cheddar cheese but i will use this fiesta blend but you can use any shredded cheddar cheese any type of cheese that you like to do now my cheese will be monterey jack cheddar queso quesadilla and asadero cheese so that sounds good to me i like a combination of cheese so the first thing we need to do is open our crab cans which i've already done and drain so my crab is over here draining get all that juice out and once we have that drain, we will start putting all our products together, all right? All right, first we're gonna take our room temperature cream cheese and put it in a bowl. And we are going to beat it until it gets smooth. Now, if your cream cheese is not warm enough, it won't work that well, which I don't know if mine is warm enough yet, so we may have to wait on that. But we're going to beat it until it's smooth, and then we're going to stir in the... Oh, I forgot another ingredient. Little bit. We need mayonnaise and sour cream. Not prepared today. Not prepared. We're also need... We're going to have mayonnaise and some sour cream also which we'll get to that so after we um beat the cream cheese smooth then we're going to start adding our other ingredients okay let me get my mixer out because i don't want you to hear all that noise okay i have i beat the uh sour cream I mean, not the sour cream. I'm just all messed up today. I beat the cream cheese, which that was an eight ounce bar of cream cheese. Now we're going to add some mayonnaise, which we need three quarter cup of mayonnaise. I'm sorry, we need a fourth cup of mayonnaise and a fourth cup of sour cream. So we're gonna mix that in there. And I have made some cream, some um, crab dip before where I didn't have enough of all the ingredients and it still came out good. I don't know how, but here's our mayonnaise. I'm gonna put it in there. And now we're gonna add some sour cream. Okay, let's get that in. 
about out of everything, but I, bought, I did buy extra, so I did remember that much. I want to finish what I have first. So now a quarter cup of sour cream. Whatever sour cream you prefer, if you want the fat-free, whatever. It's all up to you. Today, I think I just have the original. I just change every time I go to the grocery store. Sometimes I get low fat, fat free. It doesn't matter. To me, they almost, I mean, you can tell the difference in the consistency as far as how thick it is, but the taste doesn't really change that much. All right. So after we do that, we are going to add our garlic and seasoning, all our seasonings, okay? So as far as our seasonings, I do like a teaspoon pretty much of each one. I don't even think. Hold on. We're going to do a teaspoon of garlic. And also a teaspoon of onion powder. You may use like green onions, chopped green onions. But like I said, I do an easy recipe and I am not a fan of onions. So I usually just use the onion powder. All right. You can also add a little bit of ground pepper. No preference in how much, it's just by the taste. And I usually just sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg in there. Add some good flavor. A little bit of sea salt. Now this recipe does call for Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I should use it or not. I've never tried it. This, the recipe that I am looking at calls for that and a little bit of lemon juice. Um, how much though? One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and a half of a lemon. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there just to see how I like it. But I think I'm gonna do a little bit less than a teaspoon since I don't know. And then you mix that all up. You're going to stir this all up. Smells good. And you do all this before you add the crab. Because when it's lump, you want to keep it lump, right? At least I do. So you're mixing it all up till it gets smooth. I think I'm going to add a tad bit of the lemon juice see my crab pie has a lot more everything in it to be honest because you use mascarpone in that all right let me get some lemon juice all right we're just gonna add a little bit of lemon because i don't know about that either because i don't use that in my pie but we shall try. All right, mix that up really well until it gets smooth. Then we're going to add three quarter cup of cheese. All right, we got three quarter cup of cheese in there. Fold that in. And you, at this point, you can add 
hot sauce if you like. Which I don't know if I like hot sauce. <laughs> Probably could add a dash of hot sauce. I actually bought some hot sauce so I can make some buffalo um, sauce. No, dip. But then I never made it. Woo! That smell hot. I don't know if I want that. I don't want that today. But you're welcome to add some hot sauce to that. But I shall not. Now we're going to add our crab and fold it in there. Then we're going to put it in a pan, which I, I'm going to use a pie dish, which I have right here, and put it in there. All right, so I'm going to get my crab, and I'm going to fold it in. All right, here's our drained crab. We're going to add that in. Now, once you add this in, instead of stirring, fold it in so that you don't smash up all the lump of the crab. So we're going to fold it, then we're going to put it in our pan. I'm trying to figure out, do I need to oil the pan? There's no crust, so I wouldn't think I should. So, see, we're just folding. And we're going to layer the top of it with some more cheese. Feel free to add extra of salt or whatever. I don't use a lot of salt. And especially when I use cheese in items, because I think the cheese adds a salty flavor to it. All right, so that's good. Huh, let's see, should I? I can't remember if it's stuck before. I might put some on butter. I am going to rub some butter on the pan. Like so. And this is just a glass Pyrex pie pan. It was probably I don't know if this is nine inch, nine inches or not. It may be bigger, but you can use a nine inch. You just butter the bottom and the sides. All right, we're gonna put it in our pie pan and I'm gonna clean this stuff up. We're going to have your oven set for 350. Which I don't have my oven on yet. And I got the time. All that goodness in there. All right, so we got it in there. Spread it. I look good. Spreading it evenly. And you 
can sprinkle some more cheese on the top. Have your oven set to 350 and let's see how long shall we bake y'all i did not put the old bay season in there so i'm going to have to add that all right how long should we cook this man and jamma we're gonna cook it for about 20 minutes in 350 oven all right, y'all, I messed up bad, and I forgot one of the main spices to put in there, which was the Old Bay. So I just took it back out, put two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning, and folded it in. So now it should be right. So I'm going to put it back in the pie pan, spread it out. We're going to put it in our 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Now, always check it. Now, if it looks like it's bubbling and it should start bubbling, but you can tell by the color whether it's ready or not. Cause I mean, with dip, it's not like you need it to set to get too firm or anything. You just want it all the flavors to be together and the cheese to be melted in kind of a, you know, brownish golden color, especially with the cheese that we're going to add on top. So just make sure you check it just in case it's not 20 minutes for you. All right, now that looks and smells much better. I knew something was missing. So I was like, it looks too light. All right, so we figured that one out. Sometimes days my brain doesn't work. All right, so now we're going to sprinkle some more some cheese on the top. There we go. preference is based on you how cheesy you want it my husband always talks my cheese is bad for you and i'm like you don't need it you don't have to eat it you don't have to eat it every day all day i say eat whatever in moderation all right we don't eat crap just every day all right, so there you go. Here we are, okay. Nine inch pie pan. Yeah, I got cream cheese on the bottom. So that's how it's gonna look before it goes in the oven. And when it gets out, I will show you the finished product. All right, everyone, I'm about to show you the finished product. Let me get something still hot so and I did bake it on a baking sheet Whew, still melting whoa whoa it's sliding it hasn't even set yet so anyway let it cool for a while and it would be delicioso and you know what the way that was sliding you can skip buttering. You can definitely skip buttering the pie dish if this is the type of pie dish you're going to use. Because I don't think you needed that at all. But it looks very good and I know it will taste good. So I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like. But yeah, go ahead and bake that on in there for 
20 minutes or so, however you want it to look. You see how it has some, I mean, it's going to look white on the bottom, but as long as it has that nice melted brownness on top, you are good to go. And it will be delicious. And a lot of people use green scallions with it, but like I said, I don't really like onions that much. So I just use onion powder. So try this. This is a good food pleasure. Oh, what you can eat it with. You can eat it with, um, let's see. You can eat it with tortilla chips. We'll probably eat it with some scoops. Also, you can eat it with Ritz crackers if you like. And um, if anybody knows, like, the little naan breads, sometimes we get the little mini naan breads. Those are good for dipping, too. So this is a good thing. Like, game day, whenever you feel like having a dip, this is a good crab dip if you like crab meat. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this food pleasure. Have a good day.